Welcome to this IGCCT training course on the Waste Bank system and its application to integrate waste management in cities. My name is Miwa Tatsuno, and I will be your instructor in this course and help you build the capacity to implement a waste bank system in your community or city. The waste banks, trash banks, garbage banks, or bank sampa, as they are called in Indonesia, are a community-based local system to reduce waste at source by encouraging people to separate, reuse, and recycle. It also provides money and other benefits to individuals and communities. It creates a culture of waste wealth and 3R as well as the circular economy system, helping achieve the global sustainable development goals at the local level. The fact is that the generation of waste in the world is truly out of control. Every year, we dump a massive 2.1 billion tons of waste on the planet. If all this waste were put on trucks, they would go around the world 24 times. And as developing countries become wealthier, they consume more packaged goods and generate more trash. The World Bank estimates that global waste will grow by 70% by 2050 unless urgent action is taken. The 3R concept was created as a way to provide solutions to the waste problem. The principle of reducing waste, reusing, and recycling resources and the product is often called the 3Rs. Reducing means choosing to use things with care to minimize the amount of waste generated. Reusing involves the repeated use of items or parts of items that still have functional aspects. Recycling means the use of waste itself as resource. Waste minimization can be achieved efficiently by focusing primarily on the first of the three R's, reduce, followed by reuse, and then recycle. Many countries have developed policies, regulation, and enabling mechanisms to integrate 3R into national and local waste management systems. For example, Japan's Basic Act for establishing a sound material recycle society in 2000 based on 3Rs. So the 3Rs and the material cycle system are part of the solution, and they have many benefits. Reduces the amount of waste sent to landfills and incinerators. Conserves natural resources, such as timber, water, and minerals. Increases economic security by tapping a domestic source of materials. Prevents pollution by reducing the need to collect new raw materials. Saves energy and negative climate change impacts. However, in most developing countries, the recycling rate is relatively low and the waste management systems are based on a linear approach. They collect, transport, and dispose. For instance, only 9% of garbage was sorted and reused in Indonesia in 2019. For other countries, rates are noticeably lower than those in developed countries. The first significant factor influencing consumer recycling behavior in developing countries is the accessibility of recycling services, often based on the convenience of recycling collection services. The effectiveness of recycling systems also plays a role in its willingness to make an effort to recycle. Unfortunately, inadequate recycling infrastructure and sorting processes, mainly due to a lack of standardization in waste management processes, have created a persisting negative perception of recycling systems in developing countries leading to residents taking less recycling action. Some cities have encouraged garbage sorting, 
only to have residents discover that the trash all ends up in the same place. Then, due to the public's poor perception of the recycling system, there is a decreased effort to sort recyclable waste from non-recyclable waste, which has caused no investment in infrastructure improvements that could make the recycling system more efficient. Studies conducted by IGCCT have shown similar results and identify the importance of having effective recycling systems and infrastructure for establishing sustainable waste management and circular resource system in the cities. The waste bank system has evolved as a community-based waste management system to solve these issues by providing communities with a place for sorting, collecting, and the recycling waste close to the source of waste generation. It is convenient and straightforward to implement and offers clear, tangible benefits for them individually and for the community. In the following video lessons, you'll learn what the waste bank system is, different operational methods, its benefits, and how to start your own. In this video, I want to give you an overall picture and a brief overview of the lessons that this course will cover and how all these lessons can help you to start and operate a waste bank in your community at the micro level or operational level and assist you in developing local and national waste management policies at the macro level. The course is divided into three lessons. In the first lesson, you will learn what is a waste bank, what are its benefits. The second lesson is about how to operate a waste bank, what key people are involved, what are the key factors for success. The third and the final lesson is about how to start a waste bank and the enabling policy environment to facilitate the implementation and development of a waste bank. Throughout the course, we will show you case studies of waste banks to illustrate the content of the course. These case studies are mainly from Indonesia, the world leader in implementing a waste bank system with more than 8,000 waste banks in operation throughout the country. So there you have it. This is an overview of our course and how everything we teach relates to the bigger picture of implementing successful waste banks. Now let us go to the next video and start the course.